In today's quick Thursday tip, we're going to talk about the Excel add-in for Dataverse for Teams. This great little add-in is going to let you guys do things like bulk upload by pasting data into Excel and having it show up in Dataverse for Teams. You can manipulate the data. You can see the data better. I just found that this is one of those great ways to learn and understand what's going on behind the scenes because it's in Excel and we're all comfortable in Excel. So it should be fun. But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. And today, we're going to dive into the Excel add-in for Dataverse for Teams. So this is a fun one because it's a feature we've had in the regular version of Dataverse for a really long time, but it just showed up in Dataverse for Teams the other day. And because it gives us this behind the scenes look at the data, it's going to give us a lot of new options and a lot of bulk adding options because at the end of the day, if you can use Excel, you can use this add-in. So let's switch over to my desktop and take a look. To get to the add-in, I've got you know my good old Teams client open here. And so I'm going to open, launch Power Apps. And one of the things I want to make sure you guys have seen, hopefully you've already seen this already, but if you right click on the little Power Apps piece here and you say pop out app, it will actually launch the Power Apps Dataverse for Teams client in here. And if you're not used to Dataverse for Teams, you're like, whoa, whoa, Shane, what, 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 what are you doing? Then I'll put a link somewhere to go check out the other video, but I'm assuming you know if you keep going with this video. So now that we're in the client, what we're going to do is we're going to go to build. And then we're going to find the environment that we want to get to, right? We call it the bubble in my training classes. And then we're going to go down here and say, see all. And if like now all of a sudden this bubble and you're like, see all, like you're seeing new things. Remember, I've got an upcoming live version of my Dataverse for Teams class just in a couple weeks, March 8th. So come check out that class. It's over at training.powerapps911.com. Would love to have you in there. Because we're going to teach this and about a million other things. But that's not the point of this video. So, when we're in the uh, build and the all version here, then you're going to go find your tables, right? So these are the things that you made to store your data. We used to call these entities in the old days, but we call them tables now. And there's my table. And with my table, the new option is right here. You can hit the ellipses and you can say edit data in Excel. Because we know that we could just go in here to employees. And if we say edit data right here, we get this lovely little interface, but this only really shows us the columns that they want us messing with, but sometimes they want to mess with the columns I want to mess with. So we'll close that. We'll go back here to tables and then we'll say edit data in Excel. When you do this, what's going to happen is it's going to download an Excel file. And so it's in my downloads folder. So I'll just hit that. We'll go like this. And so right here in the today of my downloads, you see something that's the entity name or table name, blah, blah, blah. Just click on that to open it up. And so this will drop you into Excel. Now you notice right away it says, hey, do you want to enable editing? Because it's like, whoa, this file's got some scary stuff because it actually has like a data connector in there that invokes over there on the right, the Power, App, Power Apps Office add-in. And if you don't have that, you might have to install the add-in the first time. Unfortunately, I installed that years ago, so I don't remember what the experience is like, but I'm sure it was easy because I figured it out. And so now you can see that, look, I am in Excel, but here is all of our data and what's really super interesting about this, there's a lot that's super interesting. But if we look in here, you know, we see things we expect, right? These are the fields that I had created. But look, there's a created by column now. And there's when it was created. There's the modified by, modified on, uh, some different status -y fields that kind of go into it. This right here is the unique identifier for the actual record. So interesting because sometimes you need to grab those when you're trying to match, especially like with users tables and things like that. Um, this top record has a, uh, a face ID, an image in it. So there's the grid for that. Now what's really important though, there's a lot that's important here, but I want to show you guys, we'll show you the basics and I'll come back and show you guys some of the more advanced things that I learned over the years that aren't intuitive. So at its easiest level, if we just go right here, and we start adding a new record. So it's like title, um, napper. And so then it's like, hey, who's the owner? And it's a lookup. So notice over here on the right, to choose the owner, I'm going to have to, you know, find the person in here. So who do I want to be the record owner here? And for me, I'm just going to use myself, but I could select different people here if I had them. I don't have any other people. Oh, weird. There we go. So we'll pull me in as the owner, favorite color. Because it's a choice column, it automatically loads up. I'm like, oh yeah, that's green. And then who's the first name? Um, so this is just an entry field. And so this is video. And so I can kind of just fill out the rest of these. Now, if I go down here, like created by, you know, it's not going to let me edit the created by because that is, you know, its job. 
But now that I've made this change, if we went and looked in Dataverse right now, the change would not have happened. But down here on the right, what I need you guys to do is I need you to say publish. So when you hit publish here, now all the magic goes and it is pushed. And if we switch back over to my window here, and so if we go back into employees and then we'll say edit the data again, now we should see there is our new one, right? Napper, first name of video. Yeah! So we made a simple edit, right? We added a record. And if we wanted to go and change a bunch of records, you know, sometimes you have to do bulk changes, right? I totally appreciate that. So if you had to do a bunch of bulk changes, you could come in here and do those as well. So we could come through, you know, like maybe I want to set everybody's hourly wage, right? The minimum wage in the U.S. is in the process of changing. I want to change everyone to be $15. So I'm just going to grab the 15 and I'm just going to use my Excel skills, paste that down. Very cool. And now if we say publish, everyone's uh, skills are $15. So that is how, right, it's, it's Excel at this point. You can do all the things you want to do. You can even do like a bulk upload as long as you know all the fields you want to hit. So here, let me copy one out of another Excel file. I got one sec. Okay, so here's another Excel spreadsheet I've got with some bulk data. So for example, I could just come in here and be like, all right, I'm going to grab these three. So copy this, and then we'll switch back over to this one. And so I can say, I'm going to add these new titles. So I'm going to go right here. I'm just going to hit paste. And because I started on the row below, you see the blue color coding continuing. That tells me that it took my changes. And so then down here for favorite color and first name, I'm just going to switch back over to that Excel. And so grab these guys, copy. And then if we put those right here, and then finally we have favorite color and copy those two and we'll put those right here. So looks pretty good to me. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to say publish. And so after you hit publish, one of the things you want to do, like if you didn't get any errors, yay. The other thing you want to do is just hit refresh. Cause you notice like the created by and stuff's not modified. I meant to point this out a second ago. If you hit refresh, then that goes and fetches all the data. And then like when it fetches like that, you're like, cool. I truly got, everything that I hoped and dreamed of. Yay. So that feels pretty good. You could also be like, you know what? I just want to like duplicate all of these records. Like I'm just going to, I want duplicate of everything. Eh, we'll just kind of grab this. So I'm going to do a copy here. Now if we go over here and paste, it looks pretty good. And so then now let's try and do a publish. And so changes made to read only fields reverted. Continue. Yes. Right. Remember look up. Uh, the owner lookup is a read-only field, so you can't change it. So it's going to wipe those out, but it did copy it. So you can do bulk copies in as well. Um, you just have to kind of, you know, do the dance the right way to get it to work. So that's one of the things I learned with this thing is to power through it. Okay, and one bonus trick for thinking in the future, hard, complex, not complex, but a little more advanced stuff. So I'm going to go back over here because my data doesn't have what I want, but I'm back in my employees table. We're going to add a column. And we're going to call this manager. And so in the data type, we're going to set this to be a lookup. And then there is related table and there is a user related table, right? So this is a, a lookup relationship, relationship, relationship thing that they um, have in the product, right? We'll save this table. And the idea here is that the data, just like that created the owner and the stuff we've seen over in the Excel already were lookup tables. Um, and there's a way that you can manipulate them that uh, is not readily apparent. So, all right, we got that created. We minimize that. We'll go back over here. We'll just do a refresh and we should say, oh, we're going to see our new table. Now we're going to hit refresh here a couple times. So whatever I did, I made this thing angry. No big deal. If you make it angry right here at the top, you can do this and you can say reload the add in. And sometimes that will get it unangry. If it's not, then we're just going to close the Excel. We don't want to save our changes. And then you would go back to your downloads and just relaunch the Excel. So that does happen from time to time. We'll move it over. And so now that it should be happier, we should also see our new column. So we, we called that manager, I think. But actually we don't see manager because manager is not in the data that we got defined. Ah, so let's close this again. No, thank you. Go back to teams, go back in here and we want to go back a level. And so we're going to re-download this. So edit data in Excel again, because we need to get the new schema 
And so we're going to get that from the new download. So now I can open my download again. There's a new file. And that's why I don't ever bother saving those files. I just download them every time I need them. I'll move this over again. Okay, there you go. It loaded up. And so if you look here at the manager column, it's a lookup. And so if you click in here, you're like, all right, well, I can set this by coming in here and being like, all right, well, so I want Shane to be the manager. And you're like, all right, perfect. I want Shane to be the manager of all these people. So you're like, all right, just drag this down like you showed me earlier. Awesome. And now we hit publish. And only the first one has Shane as the manager. We'll hit refresh. Maybe I just get messed up. No. So the reason for this is because you can't dynamically set these lookup columns. Like you can't manipulate one here and do your, like your copy or bulk uploads. But because I really had to do this for like 2,500 rows, and I was like, I'm not manually clicking 2,500 people. What I figured out is if you scroll all the way over here to the right, do, 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 find the manager column where it is the GUID, the user's actual GUID. So in that case, my GUID is blah, 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 blah. Pull this one down. Now say publish. Publish successful. They stayed. And if we go back over here to the left, the manager is now me. So right the same type of thing. If I'm like, all right, well, half the managers, because I really like I had to set hundreds of managers. So I want some of the managers to be a support person. No big deal, right? I would just choose a support person over here on the uh, right, if I can ever get this to click. Let's refresh the data. I made this thing mad. Try this again. There you go. So now the manager is support user. So we just go over here again and we'd find the manager column. There it is. So you can see that the support user has a different GUID. I just be like copy and then I want that one to be this, this. So I'm just going to do every other one. And I could probably write some fancy Excel formula. I think I did a lot of Excel formulas when I did this for real. There you go. We publish. We go back to the left and manager every other one is support user. So your lookup columns, you have to manipulate that ID column. That was just like a major moment for me. And other than that, I would just tell you guys, kind of poke around here. This gives you a little bit more clue of what's going on under the hood with your Dataverse for Teams environments. And if you want to learn more about Dataverse for Teams, go check out my training class. I'll save you the commercial, but you should go check it out. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll learn lots of things, not about Power Apps, Power Automate, Chatbots, Power BI even now has a module in there. Woo! All right. Whatever, I've talked too long. I need to get this thing out the door. I need to take my kids out the door at school. I got a class to teach today. Ooh. All right, with that, I'm gonna say thanks and have a great day. Before you go, be sure to click on the subscribe button over here so that way you'll be notified when new videos come out. If you need any help or you wanna work together, whether your problem's big or small, check us out at Power Apps 911. We do it all, I rhymed. Or if you're looking for more formal training offerings, we have those linked up here somewhere. So check them out. Thanks and have a great day.